Hey there, storytellers. Today we're diving into exposition, the part of a story that gives us all the background details to pull us right into the action. Ready to learn how authors make those first few lines really stick? Let's dive in. So what exactly is exposition? It's the introduction, where we meet the main characters, discover the setting, and find hints of what's to come. A great exposition hooks the reader and makes them want to keep going. Do you want to know how story makers write the exposition in their stories? Take your pencil and notebooks and get ready to learn. Here are five tips to make any story start with a bang. Hello there. Tip number one, paint a picture with your words. Imagine you're describing a dark stormy night or a bright bustling marketplace. When readers can visualize the scene right away, they're drawn in. Tip number two. Introduce an interesting character. Who's your main character? Start with a unique or memorable trait that makes them stand out. Maybe they're brave, curious, or a little bit mysterious. Give readers a reason to connect right from the start. Tip number three, drop a hint of mystery. Add a clue that hints at something unusual or exciting. Maybe there's a missing key, a letter from an unknown person, or a strange sound. Mysteries get readers curious and keep them wanting more. Tip number four, set the scene. Help readers imagine where and when the story is happening. Whether it's a magical forest or a school at night, a vivid setting creates the world where your story lives. Tip number five, start with action. Get things moving with a character doing something interesting, running, exploring, or even just observing something unusual. This action builds energy and draws readers in. Thanks a lot for those tips, Stick McBoldface. So what does this look like in action? Here's a quick example that uses all five tips. Listen carefully. Thick fog curled around Olivia's ankles as she stepped onto the overgrown path, her lantern casting just enough light to see a few feet ahead. The forest felt like it was holding its breath, silent and dark except for a faint scratching sound echoing somewhere in the distance. Olivia tightened her grip on the mysterious old map clutched in her hand. No one had been to these woods in years, and the hidden cottage she was searching for was rumoured to appear only to those who were brave enough to seek it. See how this example draws us in. We get a strong visual, meet Olivia, sense mystery, and feel the action. These five elements in exposition make us feel like we're part of the story. That's right. These five tips can help you write a perfect and exciting exposition. So now here's a fun challenge for you. Think of your favourite story and ask yourself three questions about the exposition. Who's the main character? Where does the story start? And what clue hints at what could happen next? Once you have your answers, try creating your own mini exposition. Write a few lines introducing a main character, a setting, and a hint about a mystery or adventure waiting to unfold. Then share it with us in the comments, or try it with your friends. Remember, the exposition is where the story comes alive with all the details that draw readers in. So there you have it. Five tips for creating a powerful exposition. Try using these tips next time you start a story and see how they can bring your ideas to life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and check out our other videos on story elements. See you in the next one.